Hey guys, welcome back to my parents' kitchen. I don't have an intro for this video, I couldn't figure one out, but with that being said, we're making a salmon tartare, let's go. Here's what we need for our salmon tartare. It's a very fast, easy recipe, no cooking involved. If you're pressed for time and have guests coming over, this is the perfect recipe for you. For our recipe, I will be eyeballing most of our ingredients. For our salmon, I have about 750 grams of fresh salmon. I have about 50 milliliters of olive oil. I have cilantro, one lemon, a couple shallots, capers, and parsley. And to serve our tartare today, I am using a baguette. I was a little bit hungry on our way back from our store today. So I'm missing it just a little bit, but no worries, our guests will never know. If you want to serve your tartare with chips, pita, crackers, it's up to you. I like baguette, so I'm using baguette. And of course, salt and pepper to taste. Our first step will be to cube our salmon, but we have a problem. We can't do that right now. There's no room, so let's make some room. Grab our salmon, flip it over. I forgot to ask the guy at the store to remove the skin from my salmon. If I try to do it myself, I'd probably end up with half my salmon. Believe it or not, I'm not great at removing skin from a salmon. So our next best thing is I have a chef at home to do it for me. Bye -bye. Okay. Look at him go in his natural habitat. The chef with 40 years plus of experience is acting like nothing happening. Perfect form and incredible. He's done. What a savior. Incredible. And with that being said, I'm gonna go back in front of the camera. And we're back. Now we have to remove this brown part of our salmon. Get your long knife. Make a small incision. Make sure you don't go too deep all the way to the end. And we'll do the same on the other side. And then just like that, it's removed. Flip our salmon over. We have a small nerve right here that we'll remove. Same thing, go on one side, we want to make a sort of V. Put our knife 45 degrees on both sides and we'll pull just like that. Cut the rest and we're done. This part of my salmon, I'll give to my dog, she absolutely loves it. And now the fun part, a lot of editing on my end but it's going to look pretty nice in the video. Grab your salmon and we'll make thin incisions lengthwise. Ideally to cut your salmon you want a really sharp knife, it's going to make your life a lot easier. We'll cut our pieces about the same size, it's not the end of the world if they're not the same size. If you want bigger chunks or smaller chunks, as always, it's up to you. It's your salmon tartare after all and not mine. We'll grab our slices and we'll cut them in two, make our pieces even smaller. These ones are quite small, this one's thick, back in two. And now we'll cube them. I switched up my knife to a shorter, thicker blade. We'll grab all of our salmon and we'll start off with about half. And cube. Our first batch is done. Bring our bowl and we'll put it all inside our bowl. Bowl of reserve and our second batch will start now. Repeat. Bring back our bowl and we will reserve. Now we gotta clean our board and our hand because they're absolutely disgusting if not nice. My board is cleaned. Now let's move on to our shallot. I have way too many. I'm only going to need four. The rest will be for my father's video. Hopefully you won't notice that there's missing a couple. The shallots are red so I'm using a red knife. Cut them finely. Rotate and chop chop. Next one, slice, slice, rotate, chop, slide, and slide. Slice, and dice, swipe, and slide. One last one, in a separate medium bowl, we will reserve our shallots. Cilantro, I am using about this much. If you want, pause the video and count how many I have. And finally, chop. We missed one here, we missed one there. Bring them back together and cut. And our shallots are a little bit lonely, we'll add in our cilantro. And reserve, we have our green knife still, let's continue with some green stuff. Bring our parsley over, grab just a few heads. Let's get our parsley out of here. Grab our parsley, bring it all together, and finally chop. Three fingers on top, as always, the two other ones away. And dice. We are done, swipe. And in. Our parsley's in our bowl. Four capers. Let's put them in a small container so they don't fly everywhere. And we can pre-portion them better. I will also add a little bit of vinegar to my mix over here, like this. And now I will grossly chop our capers. And good enough. Capers inside the bowl. No one's left behind. And now our green knife can finally go take a break in the sink. I'm moving on to our lemon. We want half a lemon. Grab our yellow knife, cut in two. Half a lemon over here. Let's grab our bowl, put the sieve here, and we'll press one half of a lemon. Shake, and let's go. Half a lemon, I'll cover it in plastic wrap and keep it in my fridge for another time. And now bring our bowl in the middle, 30 milliliters of olive oil. Pour that all on top. Grab our spatula, mix it all in. Grab our salmon, pour our olive oil mixture on top. Make sure you grab every last piece of this beauty. And now salt and pepper to taste. And salt. 
If you want to spice things up just a bit, you have the option of adding isu. Go check out my dad's video, isu, to know how to make the spice. Really complicated, it's two ingredients. And we'll put just a little bit. We don't want it too spicy. Incorporate all the ingredients together, make it nice and even. As my dad would say, tourne retourne. Sadly, today there's no shake and bakes, but we have a tourne retourne. We will cover and put in the fridge for 25 to 30 minutes. If you want to eat your salmon tartare with a spoon, that's up to you, but I'm not about that savagery, so we will eat it with some baguette. Bread knife, the extremity will be for me. And I'll put my bread on a pizza tray. That should be enough for our video. I put my oven on grill and now we will grill our bread. We'll wait 15 seconds, we'll turn our bread and now we'll have 15 more seconds to wait after. After 15 seconds, bring our toasted bread out, flip over, and back in the oven for another 15 seconds. After one last 15 seconds for a total of 30 seconds, let's pull out our bread. We'll put our bread on the table. Just a tad of olive oil on top dab it on ever so slightly if you want to save some calories and not do this step be my guest we will now place our bread after about 25 minutes in the fridge our tartare is nice and firm came together really well we'll do one last tourne retourne and now we will fill in our circle get some of the air out and let's stack Perfect. And there's no social distancing today, and the bread will all come and see what we have. And let's remove our circle. Perfect. Our tartare is done, and now we will eat this tartare on our terrace with my parents, cameraman. Let's go, and see you guys next week. See ya. Bye.